I feel this is very important to take uh, just an energy read um, for the collective, whoever feels this, especially with the chaotic energy that I am picking up. Um, it's very hard to transmutate right now. Uh, I want to be in several places at once. <laughs> so therefore, I'm not getting a whole lot done. Um, I know my phone uh, started crapping out. My back went out this morning. It's just... I know it is not here to stay, okay? This whole eclipse energy, the Saturn, okay? Saturn is all about course correction bringing things back into our lives that should have been laid to rest a long time ago getting the truth about it i mean i could go on and i'm not even an astrologer i i feel that love so let's get a quick general weekly read for everyone you know what i mean let's see what's going on here it's chaotic Spirit, Archangels, Guides, Protectors, help me see clearly and give me a collective message for what is going on with my viewers' lives. Maybe what everyone needs to look out for. About that one. Ooh, ooh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, void, of course. Okay. Other information missing. Um, Saturn. Oh, look at that. The truth. The truth. Saturn and the truth. So, let's give you a quick rundown of what the void is. I know the void is around um, three to four weeks time if we're doing timing. Okay. It is a very lonely energy. It's, everything is not as it seems. Um, it's almost like daunting. You can feel the energy, but like I just said, you don't know what to do about it, right? Um, as it is now, the results are not going to be what you want. <sighs> it's, it's like the moon is going to sleep before you begin a new story, okay? That's what this is. Matters are not going to go as planned. Most of the time they will end up far worse than they planned. So you're not really supposed to plan. It's like you're going to be caught unaware. You've missed something you were not paying close enough attention to. To be able to set the situation right at the current time. So you're just kind of supposed to allow what happens, happens. Don't kind of try not to intervene within it. You're not supposed to take any action at the time. You just got to let this pass. You gotta be patient. I know that's really hard at the moment. And like allow things to resolve on their own. Allow things to, you know, um, come out into the open hmm? on their own without you intervening is what I was picking up. Crazy, huh? It's like, do, do not take action. Do not take action. Do not bail anyone out. Do not give anyone any loans, right? You won't be paid back. You will not be paid back. Okay. The medical results may not come back accurate. Um, if it's a career move, a job, it's not the right one. Okay. It's not the right one during this time period. That's a very clear here. This is a general. All right. It's just going to be a long and costly effort to you. People are going to act like screw-ups. There's a lot of passions playing against you, so you need to be very disciplined. It's not a time to act impulsively during all these transits. People think that's bullshit. It's not bullshit. <laughs> these transits are not bullshit. I feel them. I take on energy. They are not bullshit. I really need to learn astrology. Because <laughs> just from the knowledge I know, whoo! Whoo! It's like, if you want to work on something you don't really plan on keeping in your life, cool, do it. Keep your hands idle. If you want people that don't really want to become fixtures in your life or a daily routine, that's cool. They're going to go away. <laughs> um, you know, don't, don't, don't agree on plans. They're probably not going to come around. 
Um, you can work on your psychic and spiritual efforts at this time during the next three to four weeks. Okay. Setting intentions but not acting on them. Um, no weddings. No weddings, please. Because it's not time. It's not time. There's too many delays and even weather cancellations and frustrations and someone not really feeling their feelings. Just feeling everything kind of feels unreal at this moment, right? It just feels unreal. I am so anxious, guys. I was like, you know what? I really need to do a general reading right now, right this second. I'm in the middle of doing personal readings, but I knew I needed to put something out here. I literally got a spirit message of, Brandon, you need to do a daily energy for everyone as a collective. I mean, I'm not prepared. I'm in my, like, sleeky little house stuff. Here we are. Here we are, because we got some pain coming. We got some pain coming with the truth. Like I said, Saturn's all about the truth, okay? Look at all those colors, though. So I do like to look at the color scheme. And even though this, this person's face me it's kind of like this shit happened but we got to push on it's like a, a a sad warrior face in, in a sense you know what i mean um it is the harvest of karma folks the harvest of karma i feel a little in my legs uh you're gonna feel bad now but it will be resolved like i said nothing is set in stone i was trying to tell you that it is the Reaper, the Lord of Karma. This rainbow planet will represent what is tangible and solid in your life. Okay. It is about the God who ate his own children, which, the, the, you know, depicts his sorrow, but we had to do what we had to do on his face, right? When it's, you know, coming about, you're being challenged. You have to make or break it. It's going to seem very harsh, restrictive. It's like you're facing an enemy who may be yourself. Because Saturn's showing you that at times, it's in your best interest not to have those things that you want. And if you were to have them, uh, they could lead to your destruction. You get what I mean? They're saying, don't act on this. Don't act. Whatever you're thinking, folks, if you clicked on this link, they're saying, hey, during this eclipse and these alignments for the next three to four weeks, do not act on this stuff. You will face nothing but, like, opposition. Opposition. <sighs> yeah, it is. You feel hopeless. It's it's all about sticking to what you believe in. You know what I mean? Adhering to your goals. Like I said, you can put plans, goals into action, but you can't really... You can write them out. You can plan them out, but you can't act on them. It will fail. You... I hope, I hope someone out there is catching what I'm saying. Um, it's just emphasizing a lot of toughness and you got to work. And it's all about not giving up and learning to follow through. You know, it's about the power and control, which is like law enforcement. So you could be someone out there who's watching this could be getting ready to deal with law enforcement if you don't check yourself. All right. Um, it's not like negative, but they will be there. So you'll have to play by rules and, you know, it doesn't matter what you thought was correct or expected. That's why they're saying you cannot act on this energy right now. Um, it's, it's almost like you're going to meet a person who's going to be able to help you through this. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's another reader. Maybe it's a friend. Okay. Um, take that person's advice. That was very loud there. Ah, yes, the bones, the skeletal structures, you know, people may be feeling that even more like I did when I woke up and we're not even there yet. It's just the beginning, but it's like a lot of lessons and problems, you know, they're, they're being brought straight to our face so we can conquer them and put them behind us, um, for the future. It's all about keeping you on your path, right? Showing us things that aren't working. You guys see me shuffle, right? So this is telling you everything I'm saying. This is the energy. Spirit's like, no, she's right. This is the energy. This is the energy that's coming. Um, there's just things that you didn't really want to deal with. 
And they're saying you have to deal with these, whether you want to or not. They're, they're parts that we dread. They're the to-do list we put off, but we know we need to do them. We've got to get them out of our way so we can move on for a better life. And even though the circumstances, like, look harsh, you, you know, you have to believe that the sacrifices that are going to be made are going to be worth it during this energy. So don't, like, give in to the naysayers and negative forces that are forged against you. Don't feel like you're being denied or put to the side or things aren't good enough for you. This is all about what's solid in our lives, okay? What's solid? We need to take stock of what's solid. Children. Children. Don't be acting fools now. Don't be acting fools. All right, and let's see. Okay, definitely could be having some pretty powerful dreams right now, folks. Take stock of that. Take note of that. You know, what are they trying to show you? Because everything's going to get chaotic. Um, <laughs> the storm under here. To bring about the perfection of our life. Shit has to get cleared out in order to move along. It's like the cleansing. It's a karmic cleansing. You seen that spirit orb? One knock coffee out of my hand today. Okay, dude, that's cool. That's cool. Oh. So my phone was going off. Um, but like, I know there's going to be, I had a powerful dream and I can't remember it, but when I woke up, I, it was like so fresh and it really didn't have a lot of meaning, but I've already forgotten it. So maybe try to keep a notepad or um, that option on your phone so you can go back and look at that during this time. Um, it's like a world with respect for your own personal world, okay? There's something about not being a permanent condition, but take stock of what your dreams are because they're going to be super powerful. You're going to probably dream of old people, think of old people, you know, and this is the desire to grow. They're trying to show you things. So you can meet up with like like-minded people that share the same effort, your tribe. Because we all want to be loved. We all want to give our love, you know, to someone. And it's like, you have to bear these rough patches right now. You need to take stock of the dreams that are coming in. Um, something about clashing with other people because you have different ways of working through things. Um, there's a lot of things that are not supposed to be permanent in your life uh, during this, this time. Um... There is a lot of unresolved issues that are coming to forefront that's going to trigger all of us, okay, me included. I already told you I'm feeling this way, so I had to stop. You can feel my chaotic energy, and I'm trying to really transmute that so I can give the best readings to my clients. Um, they're over here blowing my phone up, but I feel I had to get this out. You have to, you know, do everything with integrity right now. Honoring yourself, what you're feeling, what you remember. Um, I feel like there's a lot of challenges. And it's going to require a lot of unconditional love from all of us. You know, to help guide us through this uh, chaotic kind of period. That doesn't mean our houses are falling down. It just means our, our everything is getting shook up. Okay, everything is getting shook up and we need to pay attention to our dreams, especially during these rough times. Pay attention to the dreams that you're having. Let's look at a shadow aspect of this because that's what's coming. Give me the shadow aspect of this, please. What's the shadow aspect? All right. What fell? Warnings because there's a lot of secrets that are going to come to light. So when the Freudian slip happens, when those masks are taken off, do not take that as a, it was a slip up. It was not a slip up. They've been trying to warn you and now they're giving you a big warning. Okay. A big, big warning. Someone who's been very judgmental, but hides, hides behind something. I think someone makes a lot of excuses for all of this or for yourself. So it's, it's a manipulative force. You're going to be opening your eyes up to your dreams have been trying to tell you. That's what's going on. Now let's get a few tarot and we're going to end this out. 
Let me know. Let me know how the next week and stuff goes, huh? See him very clearly. We got the Ace of Swords here. Ta-da! Very harsh energy. Very harsh energy because it's a truthful energy. Okay, it's cutting away the fog. The hangman. Person is not a victim. Whoever is not a victim. They have every single way to get themselves down. They're lying. Okay, whatever the situation is, you're going to see it very clearly soon. This person or situation, it's like a snake in the grass. Your your eyes are spiritually going to be open. Alright. Hands are not tied. You can get down any moment. Making people wait hand and foot on them. Uh, back problems, for sure. A lot of back problems. It's like the road is literally crumbling behind us. We're taking what we can. We're trying to trudge on. There will be a choice here. Karma with her back turned. Okay, that's justice. But justice is back turned. I'm saying karma's coming back around. Something's been done and karma is coming back around. Everyone's back, right? This is like... Uh, lovers, babies, marriages being hidden, pretending, hiding. I think that was in someone's reading. Hiding behind, behind like a religious stance, but really they don't adhere to that themselves. Um, this is going to bring about like an emotional standpoint and healing once you realize that and start giving to yourself. Turn your back on these people who have been using you or your, you know, whatever. Because it's almost like this is what you wanted, but not in this format. So they're coming to course correct that. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Good luck!